Hi, my name's Scott. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure a residential G series intercom by VIP Vision. So, I'm going to show you how to do it using the one key config method. So, what one key config means is you can do it all from the indoor monitor. So, you don't need a laptop just to get up and running. So, the first thing we do, we make sure we're all plugged in. So we've got a PoE switch here and we've just got a Cat5 cable running out to each device and that's providing power and data. Now if you've got a, a network you would also want to connect it up to that PoE switch. Now what we'll do, we'll select a language, so we'll select English and go OK. It says do you want to do quick configuration whether it's an apartment or a villa. So in our case, it's getting installed in a residential home. So we're going to select Villa. And then it'll ask us to set a password and an email address. So I'm just going to do the number eight, six times for the password. This can be anything you like, as long as it's six digits. And enter in your email. Then OK. So now we'll see the devices listed. So local is what we're working on, the indoor monitor. VTO is the door station. So we can see the status for the indoor monitor, the local device, is initialized, whereas the door station isn't. So we've got to initialize that first. So go initialize, and then we can ask for a password. So it's going to be between 8 and 32 letter, letters and numbers. It's going to be a mix of both. So I'm going to do admin123. Obviously just for this example, you'd want to use something a bit more secure. And make sure to note it down for future use. And then the email. So the email is used for resetting passwords if it's ever forgotten. Okay, so they're both initialized now. So what we'll do, we'll go next. And now we'll set the IP addresses for each device. So we'll start with the indoor monitor, go edit, and you would set these details to suit your network. So in this case, I know what my network range is, so I'm gonna change it to suit. And we do the same for the door station, the VTO. Making sure to have a different IP address as you can't have two IP addresses on the same network or it creates issues. So make sure it's listed as main and we can also set the date and time over here as well. Okay, then go OK. Now we can see here, they're both set, the IP address. So that's all we've got to do. We just hit one key config. Now the door station will reboot. And in this case, because it's not actually mounted to anything, this little tamper button on the back is normally depressed. So because it's not, the siren will actually go off. So I'll just mute the, mute the microphone so you don't hear that one. Okay, so the alarm sound stopped. 
and the door station's now rebooted. So we'll just wait for the monitor to finish its thing. Okay, so now all the configuration's done. You can see up here the little door station with a cross icon, that one there. Um, what that means is they haven't synced up just yet. So it can take a few minutes just to sync up. So we'll just wait for that to happen. Okay, so that, that's disappeared now and the, you can see it. The door station icon's gone away. And we can check the connection. If we go to monitor and select main VTO, you can see we've got image. And if we press the call button on the door station, It's all working. So that's all it takes, just the basic setup to get up and running using one key configuration. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave, a, leave it down below. Thanks for watching.